Well, we're off down the one bell, me, Fenners, and Jimmy Bullard. We're going to find out who we're going to sign this coming season for our venture into National League South. Get in there! Yes, here we are. It is our season review. Two trophies. The Ishmian League Premier Division and the Vela City Cup. Yes, the big one. We've got it. It's not that big. But who got the sign of the season? It was Mofal. Yes, 27 goals from 32 starts. Four assists. So not a great deal. And also a 7.55. Marcus Eiffel actually done better than that. Because look at this. 45 goal returns from assists and goals on a 7.56. How has that boy not got signing of the season? I don't know. 50 starts as well for Marcus. Fantastic stuff. Even Josh up here, look. Only had seven starts and one off the bench. Scored a goal and four assists. Not too bad. Oye Tendi, yeah, 25 goals. 10 assists as well. Really good return of 7.26. Lewis Shipley, 58 starts. One goal, 15 assists. The boy played at centre half most of the time. He wasn't always playing left back. Mental, mental stuff. A 7.13. Zach Mitchell, another one, three goals, five assists as well. Ollie Morgan played plenty of times, but only seven assists, no goals. Harry Brook, another one, just great, great returns. 11 goal contributions. Luca Gunter, even got two assists, look, a 6.84 from his 53 starts. Jonathan Tompkinson, one goal, one assist. Yeah, did all right. Racky, another one. Yeah, we're getting down in the players now. We didn't really play a lot of football. Sean Stewart, no assists, no goals. Yeah, need more for him. And a few other youngsters that didn't really play much or get involved much. But everybody played their part in our league winning season. Four losses this season. Absolutely unbelievable. Harrington, Chelmsford, hashtag United. And sitting born. 3 1 nils there, look. Two of them at home. Not very good. Hamzad Kargbo with 30 goals in the league is our top goal scorer. He also had 592 average home attendance. Canvey Island 9 0, biggest game win of the season. Also, match to remember, beat him well in 5 2 in the FA Cup. That was good. And. Val picks up the coveted goal of the season. Let's go and have a look, shall we? So this was one hell of a game, actually. A real tight one. 3-2 win in the end against Walton and Hershey. Now, it's a good goal, but is it really that great? It's an excellent goal. For, does it say here? Excellent goal from the striker as he skins an opponent on his way to scoring a fierce shot. I suppose, yeah, we'll take it. Ooh, Bullard, top shirt sales, Cargbo, Racky, Fal, and Brunt. Right, okay. All this money sort of, yeah, we're not getting much money. Broadcast revenue, zero. Not been on the tally yet. 107 shirts have been sold, though. Well, that's pretty good. Team of the year. Yeah, Gunter, Morgan, Mitchell, Foran, and Shipley. Foran in there as well. Interesting. Bullard, Brook. Thomas, Eiffel, Cargbo, and Fahl. Hamzad Cargbo, a 7.99. Absolute class from that boy. And he's picked up Fans Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. Mo Fahl as well. Signing the season, goal of the season. Cargbo, 43 goals. Top goal scorer for the season. Marcus Eiffel with those 22 assists. Cargbo with 11. Man of the Matches. Also, highest average rating with that. Well, they rounded it to an eight, but we saw it 7.99 a second ago. And Harry Brook with 46 passes in 90 minutes. Any competition awards? Nope. 
Right, most league appearances by a player. Oh, 102 now for Ergan. That is great. Also, most goals by a player, 73. You would think that Cargbo is breathing down his neck. £110,000 for Ben Watt. Record transfer and fastest goal. 15 seconds by Hamzad Cargbo. Puts him in a league of his own. There we go. We've got our golden ticket. It's there. Beautiful stuff. And now, season expectations. What do they want? So it's Vanarama National League South. Or, or North, it says there. But I would have thought it would be in the South. But we'll have to wait and see. Gain automatic promotion to the Vanarama National League. Now, I think there's only two spots. And one spot is automatic. The other one's a playoff. So they want us to win the league. And then work towards reaching the National League playoffs. Keep trying to do it. That's the five-year plan. Right. Work within the wage budget. Grow the club's reputation. Entertain. Nothing's changed, is it? I don't... I'm going to have a look. No, it's all the same. They, they just want entertaining football and just to have fun. Support a profile. Fair weather up by 12. Family down by 23. Now, I know we had a few more red cards, but my goodness me, surely that's not uh, a cause for concern, does it? Or does it? Players inducted in. Marcus Eiffel is in. Thomas Cargbo. Hakan Ergan. Bullard. The back four, look. And the goalkeeper. None of them at the club anymore. We need to sort that out, I think. <laughs> Agafor, Tasker, Chidi, Tonks. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to get some more players in, I think. But um, that's where we're going to leave you now. We're going to go off and get some players. I think that's the call. Right, and we've already got our director of football, Mr. Fenners, in for a player, Justin Hanks. Now, I'm not too sure. He, what is he? He's a six foot two central defender. Mm, I don't like this. I don't like this here. This. This mentals here is no, 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 no. Fenners, Fenners, you can do better than that, son. Also looking at coaches, not Marlon Beresford. Interesting. Arton Sporzan, a Gibraltar player, has been poached by a Gibraltar team. A two and a half grayed out star player, 15 year old central defender. I have a funny feeling that he probably wouldn't have made it in the game. So the fact he's gone to Gibraltar, the club will be owed 5% of any quince. So also, if, if he does make it and sells, we're going to get 5% of any deal. Bit of solidarity. Love it. What the hell is he going to sell for? We can't even see him because he's that bad. And he's only got grey. Very poor. He's in for another centre-half. Jordan Willis. Oh, 5'11". No. He's good, but he's 5 foot 11 and that'll pay against him, won't it? Cargbo has got a new deal. We've got a new coach who's got a new deal as well. Ollie Morgan's got a new deal. And Sean Stewart. Now, I wasn't too sure on this boy, but I think he is the answer. Four and a half star potential, three and a half star current ability. The Northern Islander. He's pr he is pretty good. And I think if we can get a tune out of him up and down that left hand side, we will be fine. Also, uh, Got some more physios and stuff all sorted. Just trying to get the backroom staff a bit stronger as well. Well, we've gone on a couple of weeks and we've had a significant increase in our stature. So we're growing the club's reputation. That's what we wanted. Bullard is now on a youth contract because his contract's expired. So, But we know he stays at the club, doesn't go anywhere. So we don't have to worry about that. It just means he still doesn't appear on the old squad planner. It is a bit of a nightmare. Can we actually, can we add him in? Can we put Bullard in? We can't even add him in. He's, oh, he is there now. Oh, he is there now. Uh, right, okay. Suggest everything. Any, any difference? No. <laughs> right, well, he's in. That's good. Season expectations. Win promotion by winning the league. Okay. Second qualifying round of the FA Cup. And reached the quarterfinals of the FA Fat Cup. Also got our new expectations. Are the fixtures in there? Oh my word, the fixtures are in. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and it is going to be two to five. That's not overwhelming. Two to five. That's that's a tough year. Fowl in the Dream Eleven, Bullard, Tompkinson, and Stewart. Interesting, but we do have the two best players in the division in Bullard and Fowl. Bullard should be the best player in the division going forward for many, many years. Right, let's go and have a look what else is going on. Well, it is the 1st of July and we've got some players coming in. Let's get the boys in. We, we've had a few come through that were recommended. So we're going to see how good they are. Um, Racky wants to leave and um, there's loads of players that have been released by other clubs. So Carl Walker has been released. Not that. What's it? In fact, let's let's have a little look. How bad is Bell? He's thirty six. Look, and he's still like that. He's still going to play Premier League football. In fact, he's retiring. What? He's retired. Excuse me, but Carl Walker, you're thirty six years of age. Why the hell are you retiring? He's still awesome. I don't know. I don't know. Unlike you know someone like Matip, I suspect he's probably. No, Still good. In fact, he's retiring as well. Bonkers. Right, let's get these trialists in and um, see who's going to be any good. Right. Four-star potential. League two player. Two and a half star current ability. This one. Three-star current ability. Four and a half star potential. A league one player. Ronnie Stutter. Yeah, I can see why. He does look rather good. In fact, let's have a look at Hayden. Ali Hayder as well. Yes, well, what nationality is that? He's an Iraqi, and he looks pretty good. He's not particularly quick, but he's rather skillful. I quite like the look of him. A three-star, two-and-a-half-star. Ah, um, yeah. yeah, he's probably not as good as what I thought he was going to be. not worried about him. Aiden Manning, four-and-a-half-star potential, three-and-a-half-star current ability, League One potential player, Aiden Manning. Oh, my word. If he's got that much ability and that much potential and he's in the same team as Bullard, he must be good. Four and a half star potential again. Three and a half star current ability. Patrick Kelly. Oh, my word. Again, another Northern Islander. He looks rather good as well. And Kyan Tyler. Now what? Oh, he's six foot eight. That was one of the reasons why I like this lad, but I don't think he's going to be... No, I'm not sure. Not sure. Border happy. Not happy that um, Lewis Brunt has gone. Yeah, we let him, let him go. And Josh Novella, he's gone as well. Bullard is now a team leader. That's good news. Quite a few others that are highly influential. Right, let's carry on. Well, another week gone by and Arjan Raki has gone to India with FC Goa for, yeah, £250,000. Aston Villa will get 2.5% of it as well. But my goodness me, we've also got some more trialists in. Reese Oxford, who is a central defender who looks pretty, pretty good. They were ex-West Ham youngster. He is a four-star potential, three-star current ability. Rather good, no-nonsense centre-back, who I quite like the look of. And Casey Palmer as well. Now, this lad was somebody who was pretty good in FM before, but more for his attributes than what his star rating is. But he is 29 years of age, so we will see how that lad carries on. But yeah, Arjun Raki was in his last year of his contract. He wasn't going to sign a new one. Just happy to get rid of him, to be honest, because... Um, we don't want players like that around who are going to be causing us trouble. And Reese Oxford is in. We said we might want him to get another player and we have got him in. And he is valued at four and a half to five million pounds. 27 years of age now. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. What a player this boy could be. Oof. Yeah. He's in. The, I think it said it's in his prime years. Did it say fringe player in his prime years? Yeah. A potential League One player. So what has that done to our competition stats? We are now season review 1 to 25. All that there, in a nutshell, is division defining, I suppose, maybe. Dork in there at 8 to 1 behind us. So 
Right, a few more days till we start the season. And who are we going to be playing first game? We're going to be playing Hampton and Richmond and Hornchurch. So a couple of tasty ones there. Let's go and see what else we can do before the first and the first game. Well, Fenners is hoping for a positive start this season. So that's great news. Hopefully things will go his way. We hope. Training looking pretty good at the moment as well. We are favourites for the game against Hampton and Richmond. So that is good news. Pre-season, we've been lively. We have had a great, great pre-season. Stutter, Fowl and Hader playing really well as well. Everybody's a bit unhappy that um, Racky went and Brooke and Brunt. But, you know, also apparently Ronnie Stutter, his wages are too high for his importance to the squad. Same with Reese. Yeah. And they're not happy the fact we sold Brooke. So everybody's not very happy, but um, we're looking good. And we're trying to sign, sell Tristan Thomas as well. Yes, he's had a bit of a moan up, wants to leave. He's not happy. Dynamics, good, good, and very good. Everybody's looking happy, ready for the start of the season. Highly influential player in Cargbo. Tactics, I think we're probably going to go something like this this season. Gunter in goal. Mitchell, Tompkinson, Oxford and Stewart. Tompkinson, another one who at the moment is considering his options. Oh, I tell you. Bullard and Manning in midfield. Bullard's going to drop a bit deeper for Manning to do his preferred role. Eiffel's moving to the right-hand side. Hader up top. Hader out on the left-hand side where he prefers to play. Stutter and Foul up top which would mean Shipley, Kelly, Cargbo, Oyatendi, Morgan, Booth, who is out of contract. What's wrong with him? He? Oh, he's another youth one, isn't he? So I'm not too sure on him. Casey Palmer probably has to come onto the bench. King on the bench. Akan again might not ever play for the club again. Well, boys and girls, that has been a fantastic transfer window. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had plenty of money coming into the club. But we haven't spent a penny. And we've signed a few fantastic players. Please do like, subscribe and get notified to all the future uploads to the Preset channel. FM25 is not far away now, but FC Bullard are still riding high. See you soon. Goodbye.